Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Techrot, and in this episode of my new show called After Effects Tutorials, I'll be explaining to you how t what After Effects is, what the requirements are, why you would use After Effects, um, what else, um, difference between Sony Vegas Pro and After Effects, and how to get the program. All right, so that's for this episode. So a little bit more about the show first. Um, in these tutorials, the After Effects tutorials, they are for beginners. So if you're not familiar with After Effects, um, this, this is a chance to follow these tutorials because yeah, they're great and I'll be, I'll be explaining you in depth how to yeah work with After Effects and easy and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so these episodes will come every Saturday evening or uh, mid-afternoon. I don't know. It's actually on Saturday, so it doesn't matter really. Um, I'll be uh, teaching you how to, for example, my editing is um, yeah superb, uh, I might say, compared to others. And just uh, the program itself, After Effects, it's amazing what you can do with it, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. All right, so um, there are 20 episodes, actually 21 or 20, yeah, um, and that's the first season. So there'll be next season, and that will start, I think, in October. Yeah, in October. And those 20 episodes will take approximately uh, 20 minutes, so it's quite a time. Doesn't matter really, but because you After Effects needs a lot of time to learn, you need a lot of time to learn After Effects. Yeah. So as I said before, the every episode is in depth, so I'll be explaining you how to do that and how to do the health keys and stuff, so you know how um, it works and get familiar. So I'll be doing it easy and calm. So yeah get used to it. Alright, so that's about this show. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. I'll try to um, answer them as soon as possible. So the requirements for After Effects are, let's go to the official site. Let's search Google. Adobe After Effects. Alright. And the first link that comes up, of course, that's normal. Alright, so you can see over here, text packs. Click that. And over here you can see the requirements for Windows and Mac. Also, these tutorials are for Windows and Mac, but for Mac uh, there might be problem on, on um, some hotkeys. But it doesn't really matter because yeah, hotkeys you can search things for, you can search sites for it. All right, so the requirements, system requirements are for Windows um, at least a uh, Intel Core 2 dual processor. So um, that's important. You need a good processor and um, you don't need a video card. If you don't know what video cards are, link in the description, tell someone about it. But you don't need a video card for it, but really, you really need one because, yeah, in the end, you, you, you'll, you'll be needing it because we'll be using Elementary D and that needs a great video card. Too. But now it doesn't really matter because we'll be doing basic tutorials. Also, 4 gigs of RAM, that's important. You need 4 gigs of RAM. Um, if you if you don't have 4 gigs of RAM, I think most computers have it these days. But if you don't have it, you won't be able to use it. After Effects really need um, to retest and see if your computer is perfect for it. All right, one thing, one important thing um, for the new versions After Effects CS5 and CS6, you will needing a 64-bit computer. If you don't have a 64-bit computer, you need to go for a, the version CS4. That's uh, supported for the 32-bit computer. And how to check if your PC is 32-bit or 64-bit? It's really easy. Let me just go to my computer. At my computer, you can see System Properties. Click on that. And then somewhere in the middle, you can see System Type, which is over here, 64-bit operating system. So, also another requirement that's needed is a lot of time. So. These tutorials, alright, so for these tutorials I've been using uh, After Effects CS6 because it uh, has a future in it called Camera Tracker and that's um, what we'll be using in future tutorials. But the versions from After Effects until f from version CS4 to CS6 are quite the same, um, unless CS6 is more com comfortable for Windows 7 and Windows 8 and also for new computers and other and new video cards and yeah, other stuff. So. CS6, try it out. If it doesn't work, try CS5. If that doesn't work, try CS4. So, just try it out. 
So, how to get the program? Um, After Effects is a uh, really expensive program. I think it cost about over one over thousand over six hundred dollars. Um, of course, if you already have the program, no problem. You can go further with the tutorial. You can skip to. There will be here number. Now, how to get it is it's really easy, but also really hard. All right. So in the description, there are links to different kinds of tutorials. How to get CS4, how to get CS5, how to get CS6 for Windows and Mac. So if you're Searching for a great tutorial, um, there will be links in the description on how to do that. Alright, so why After Effects? There are numerous of things why you would use After Effects. For example, the program is 2 Pro. <laughs> yeah, that's the main reason, but it's awesome. That, that's about it. Um, After Effects is actually for motion graphics and not really editing, but um, it's about, yeah. What you can create with it. It's also for editing, but not sufficient enough. Um, what you can create with it is really amazing. Uh, let me show you a few examples what you can create with After Effects um, when you're more professional with it, and also some basic uh, video videos. So over here, for example, we have a. Uh, let me just take a look uh, over here. Basic intro. That's motion graphic and editing at the same time. That's what you can do with After Effects. It's, it's simple. It was done fast in about three hours, I think. Yeah, it's really uh, f f done fast. If you do that with Off with Sony Vegas Pro, it'll take a lot of time. So uh. um, there's also another video um, which is more basic. Let me just look for it. This is 2D. This is 2D animation. That's. Uh, Really easy to make because 2D is easy to make, and you can see uh, it's pro, but it really isn't because it's easy. And that's yeah, that's After Effects. You, you, it's easy when you know the basics. So when you start from the basics, you go. Better and go better and better, better. Know how to do it. Know how to do that and that and that, and it goes really, really fast. Um, Bats in a year, you're, you're very pro. My, I wasn't familiar with After Effects last year, but now I'm even here doing tutorials. It's amazing how fast you can learn After Effects. We'll be explaining you how to do it, and but you won't be able to really get the hang of it directly because yeah. You need time for it. You need to put your time in it so that you you can learn more about it and edit more quickly. That's uh, the main thing about editing. You did the same thing with Sony Vegas Pro, I guess. If you work with Sony Vegas Pro, of course. After Effects is also useful, very useful, and um, it's about 100 times better than Vegas because it's fast, it's easy. What you can create with this is awesome, and there are very cool plugins for it. Which you you can, won't be able to use in the uh, Vegas Pro. I've been talking about the Vegas Pro a long time. If you don't know what Vegas Pro is, it's just an editing program which uses where a lot of people compare the two programs, I, and that's why I compare it here too because there's some there's also a difference between After Effects and Sony Vegas Pro. Now, to you um, Sony Vegas Pro fanboys of people who ha have been using the Vegas Pro for a long time and now stepping over to After Effects. I'll be explaining you. I'll be saying how what is better about After Effects and for the Sony Vegas Pro. And there are no disadvantages actually. So you can, what you can do with After Effects are um, the same things you can do with Vegas Pro. Only After Effects you can do a lot more with it. After Effects is actually motion graphics, special effects, compositioning, and um, Sony Vegas Pro is actually for just editing. Uh, this is actually an editing application. That's uh, the main thing. You can create like explosions or stuff, or uh, particles of or space through the environment. You can't create it. You can't cr create that in, in Sony Vegas Pro, but you can create it in After Effects. And um, yeah, Vegas Pro only allows basic um, basic graphics. For example, a uh, um, text that flies by. That's basic editing. Yeah, basic graphic. 
in After Effects, for example, what you can do with the text is, for example, like a word writing. You can't do that with, with, with Figures Pro, but you can do it with After Effects. That's awesome. Yeah, like I said before, After Effects is in numerous ways better than Figures Pro. Um, because in After Effects you can edit more detailed, more advanced, there are more possibilities. For example, special effects, like graphic design and stuff. Um, also, when you first install the program, there are more special effects. Uh, there are more effects available to use in After Effects and it's for Sony Vegas Pro. In Sony Vegas Pro, you need to install extra plugins for it, for things you already got in After Effects by default. Uh, there's one disadvantage about this one disadvantage about um, After Effects is the sound editing. It's really hard to edit the sound with After Effects. I really like to do sound editing in Vegas Pro because you can see the you can do more with it. It's uh, it has um, effects for uh, sound effects which After Effects doesn't have. So there, if there is one thing that After Effects doesn't have and Vegas does is the sound editing. More things about. Um, this is to the Vegas Pro fanboys who think After Effects is bullshit. Here's something for you. After Effects is true 3D environment. What you can create with After Effects is, yeah, like I said, amazing. But 3D is more amazing. When you're editing, when you're editing with Vegas Pro, you'll be needing Cinema 4D, Boju for motion tracking and stuff. And so. It's not simple to use. You need to learn three programs for, to do one thing. What you can do in After Effects. <laughs> um, also, After Effects allows multi renderings. For example, you can render um, five compositions at one time, which is yeah, not really uh, good for your processor, but you can do it, which is awesome. If, if you have a, a good PC like I do over here, you can uh, render out uh, five things at the same time. But Sony Vegas, you can't. Advanced use of masks, so for example, mask feathering, mask, mask animation, and stuff. Uh, ma the mask is more improved in the in After Effects than with in Vegas, Sony Vegas Pro. And also motion tracking in After Effects. You can't do motion tracking in Vegas. That's bullshit. Vegas bullshit if you can't do motion tracking. <laughs> but anyway, motion, motion tracking in After Effects in 3D or 2D doesn't matter. It's awesome. It, that's the main thing. Okay, so let's open up the program. Let's see how the program looks. All right, so when the program is opened, this is After Effects. It has a uh, clean uh, layout. Um, there's a lot of, there are a lot of windows, but we'll be explaining you how to work with everything and get familiar with the interface in the next tutorial. So thank you for watching this uh, my my first episode in my new show called After Effects Tutorials. Next week tutorial is about let me just take a look. It's about teaching the basics. So we'll, we'll be getting familiar with the user interface. So getting used to it, to getting used to After Effects. Uh, I'll be explaining the basics. Um, we'll be seeing how to. Um, start a new project, a new composition, what the settings are, etc. The, the basic use of layers, um, importing of files, and also hotkeys, which are really useful. So, but that's for the next tutorial. Alright, I think that's about it. Alright, so thank you for watching and hope you learned something about After Effects and yeah. I hope you'll be following this tut these tutorials about After Effects. And I wish you good luck and so please like and comment on this video, um, share it with a friend, favorite and please subscribe for more tutorials, that's about it, so thank you for watching.